So ZK Sync has raised $458 million and their team has hinted at launching a native token in the future. With all this, people are speculating it could be one of the largest crypto airdrops in 2023 or 2024. I'm going to share everything I've done to hopefully become eligible for this potential airdrop. You can copy the same tasks. Let's jump right into the video. All of the URLs and timestamps will be down below and let's jump into my computer. So first of all, what is ZK Sync? It's a layer two scaling solution that essentially makes Ethereum faster and cheaper. You'll have to bridge your funds onto the network and then you can have really fast, cheap transactions. I mean, there is over $120 million of total value locked into the ecosystem. And here are some of the top projects that we'll be interacting with to try to get some transactions. Now, is the airdrop confirmed? Well, the short answer is no. Everything is just speculation like most airdrops. They said they're not focusing on a token right now, but crypto Twitter is still speculating. They do have a token on the horizon, even though there are no plans to launch it right now. In addition to that, they are very well funded. Matter Labs, who is behind ZK Sync, has raised a whopping $458 million in financing, and that comes from backers like Blockchain Capital and Andreessen Horowitz. $458 million is about four times more than Arbitrum raised, which was another giant crypto airdrop in 2023 where people made thousands of dollars. By the way, another huge potential airdrop is MetaMask, who raised $450 million. You can watch this video here after this one if you also want to qualify for the mask token. So this airdrop is not confirmed. Everything is speculation, but here's what you can do to hopefully increase your odds of getting the ZK Sync airdrop. So long story short, you can go to ecosystem.zksync.io and you can see all of the apps that are currently live on the ERA mainnet. Once you land on this webpage, you could just click live on ERA. This will be linked down below. Now, not all of these apps you can interact with. However, the more of these that you use and the more transactions you make, the more likely you are to potentially qualify for the airdrop. So I'm going to show you some of the projects that I have used where it's easy to make transactions, but by all means, go ahead and visit this page and use more projects if you want to. So the first thing you're going to have to do is get a MetaMask wallet and fund it with some Ethereum. If you're watching this airdrop video, I already assume you know how to do that. And once you have some funds in your Ethereum wallet, you're gonna to want to add the ZK Sync era mainnet as a network. So you'll just click add network here in MetaMask and I will put a URL down below for instructions how to do this. Once you have your MetaMask set up, you can go to the first project which is called bridge.zksync.io and you're going to bridge funds from the Ethereum mainnet to ZK Sync era mainnet. So if we look at the page, it's very simple. You connect your MetaMask wallet and you can just send some Ethereum put as much as you want. The downside is it only has Ethereum, so you will have to pay a gas fee. So I would transfer over what you can afford and you want to send maybe like 10, 20, 30, $50, whatever you can, so you can perform transactions on the other projects that we're gonna be visiting. Now this is the official bridge. So interacting with this could be a good thing to help you become eligible. Moving on to the second project is called Orbiter Finance. This is another bridge with low fees and fast transactions. However, with this one, you can actually use Arbitrum or lower cost networks. You don't have to use the Ethereum mainnet. So you can also use this bridge to transfer funds and increase your total number of transactions. So right here, you can go from Arbitrum and then you would just click ZK Sync Era, put in the amount of funds that you want to send and then click send. Now, if you don't want to use Arbitrum, it also supports Polygon, Optimism, BNB Chain and other networks where you can get low fees. And as a bonus, Orbiter Finance has an airdrop coming as well. So by using this platform, you might be eligible to qualify for that. The third project that you should use is called SyncSwap.xyz. SyncSwap is a decentralized exchange. And to interact with this, you can simply just swap some tokens. So I would go here and just start swapping some ETH for various tokens and then swap it back and just try to get as many transactions that I can. Additionally, you can also add liquidity to one of the pools. So if you click on the pools here, you can click on one and click on deposit, and then you can just add liquidity if you want and then withdraw it as well or keep it in there. This one is optional, but I would definitely do some swaps. Now, just like Orbiter Finance, SyncSwap is also projected to have an airdrop. So interacting with this could also help you qualify for a third potential airdrop. And you can confirm that with the tweet that they made here. We are happy to announce that SyncSwap will have its own token in the future and the ticker will be Sync. So pretty cool there, just so you know. Moving on to the next platform, it's called mintsquare.io. Once you get here, you wanna collect, connect your wallet and make sure you are on ZK Sync era. 
and not on StarkNet or the testnet. You want to be on ZK Sync era. So you can click mint here and try minting an NFT. You can just upload any supported file, JPEG, GIF, PNG, etc. And then if you want to buy an NFT, you can just click collections here, go to all time. So for some reason, this page is not loading. But if we go onto the home page and you want to just find one of the cheaper NFTs and just make a purchase and then you can list it for sale afterwards. So let's say there's this one for $1.80. You can click on that and you can make an offer. Now some of them let you buy now. So I would just find one that says buy now for a very cheap price. For some reason this site isn't loading for me now so I can't show you the NFT that I got. But that is mintsquare.io. Hopefully it will be working for you. The next one is mute.io. So this is also a DEX, farming platform and more. And here we're just gonna click enter app and it's pretty simple as well. You're just going to swap some tokens. So let's say you have Ethereum, you can swap that for USDC. You can really do any amount, just click swap. And it'll ask you to confirm in your wallet and it'll show you the total with the gas fee, etc. So I'm going to reject that because I already did it. Now here they also have a pool and some other tabs that you can explore. Again, essentially the more transactions you do, the better your odds. They want to reward loyal users when they do airdrops. So just keep that in mind. And there's a bunch of other apps as well. You can go to RhinoFi for the next one. Now this is a bridge with low fees and fast transactions. It also lets you swap tokens among other things. Now on RhinoFi, you can click the bridge here and bridge something from let's say Arbitrum 1 to Optimism if you want low fees. You can also do some swaps if you want another easy way to get a transaction. Now I also have a written blog post on rankfi.com which I will put in the description and if we scroll down it has all of the tasks that I mentioned plus a bunch of other apps where you can get uh, easy transactions. After RhinoFi there's also one called OnChain Trade, there's Aralend.com, uh, there's another bridge and there are all of the official links which I've mentioned in this video. For example here you can go to ecosystem.zksync.io to see all of the projects that are available. Now another task that might be important is to go to light.zksync.io Io, connect your MetaMask wallet and transfer some funds to ZK Sync Lite here. Now all of the steps previously were using ZK Sync Era, which is version 2.0, but this website is the old version 1.0, which has been running since 2020. Now the idea is interacting with this old version could also qualify you as an early adopter for the airdrop, which is what we're looking for. So again, you can go to this website, connect your wallet and transfer some ether from the Ethereum mainnet to ZK Sync Lite. Now you can just click transfer or top up. And if you scroll down, there are bridges. So you can use the Orbiter bridge that we used before if you want something low fee and fast. So for example, you would just choose a network you want. You can even send it from the ZK Sync era and just transfer it to ZK Sync Lite. Or you can use the official ZK Sync Lite bridge, which is what I recommend. Once you have funds here, then you can click swap and this will take you to the zigzag exchange and just make sure you are on ZK Sync Lite in the top right corner here and not on Arbitrum. And then just on the left side of the screen, make some simple swaps and that should count as a transaction. If we go back to ZK Sync Lite, you can also click on NFTs here and try minting an NFT. Now for me, it wasn't working, but you can try that for yourself. Once you're done, you can go back to Orbiter Finance and then just transfer your funds out of ZK Sync Lite to ZK Sync Era or back to whatever network that you want. Now there's a lot of things you can interact with to hopefully become eligible for this airdrop. Now if we look at past airdrops such as Arbitrum, uh, this is not the wallet that I use, but I did get this airdrop. This is the criteria that they looked for. So they want you to conduct transactions during two distinct months or nine distinct months, uh, bridge funds using Arbitrum 1 and Arbitrum Nova, so if ZK Sync did the same thing, that would be ZK Sync Era, ZK Sync Lite, um, and then interact with multiple smart contracts. So interacting with a smart contract can be making a swap on a DEX, it can be minting an NFT, anything like that. And the highest reward was 100 transactions. So if ZK Sync follows the same criteria, you essentially wanna just show you're a real user, do transactions every 30 days or something like that, but always do what you can afford and hopefully this helps you qualify for the potential ZK Sync airdrop. For another massive potential airdrop, make sure you check out the MetaMask one that I just posted on my channel and I will see you in the next one.